Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Friends, whenever uh, we are asked some basic questions in interview, most of the time I have seen that uh, people get stuck in the basic concepts which they take uh, take, take granted. So one of those concepts is uh, uh, why is spark fault tolerant or uh, what makes spark fault tolerant. So uh, even though it's a very basic question, I have seen a lot of people getting confused. Uh, uh, while answering this question so as part of this video i'm going to cover this question before we answer uh, what makes spark fault tolerant uh, we should understand what do we mean from fault tolerance uh, when i say fault tolerance i mean to say that uh, uh, if i am running spark job on my cluster and uh, within that cluster one or two machines on which my RDD's partition was lying has gone down. Uh, will I lose data? Will I be able to recover data? So, ability of Spark to recover data in that scenario is called fault tolerance. So, if there is any fault on the system, uh, uh, system can uh, our framework can recover from from that. That's the that is called fault tolerance. Uh, capability to recover from failures. Uh, so let us see how Spark is able to do. Uh, at very high level, Spark lineage concept, which I have covered in another video, uh, helps us uh, uh, make Spark fault tolerant. Let us see how. We are creating a uh, creating some dummy data. Then we are creating rdd out of it then we are running some another transformation on it and then i'm running another transformation on the output so i have run multiple transformations on my base rdd and created a rdd3 now using rdd3.2 debug string i can know what were the operations done on my RDD? So this is my lineage. You, uh, if, if you are not aware, we read it from uh, below to upwards. So last operation uh, in the list, this operation, uh, it was the first operation done. Then this is the second operation. This is the third operation. And this is the fourth operation. So uh, since Spark is storing this information, lineage information, it gives us capability it gives spark capability that if some of the partitions are lost as part of machine failure in the cluster uh, spark will know that uh, those partitions were created from which other partitions who are the parent partitions who are the parent rtds so spark will be able to recover from that this is what makes spark fault tolerant so this is a very simple concept so uh, i am covering it part of this video because a lot of people get confused while answering this question so i hope this video will be useful please uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, watch other videos uh, and please also suggest new content new questions that you have been um, facing during your interviews i'll be very happy to cover them and uh, uh, stay tuned thank you